speak of public comment reserve time, one needs to have signed up in advance by communicating with the city clerk. Speakers will have three minutes in which to speak, so please pay close attention to the time clock. As a matter of courtesy, we may have only one person speaking at a time. And finally, if you require assistance in speaking before council, we'd be delighted to provide it to you. Our first speaker today is Blaine Coleman. For 16 bloody years, the Ann Arbor City Council has blocked every attempt to have a public hearing on the resolution to boycott Israel. The resolution to boycott Israel to the maximum extent allowed by law. During those 16 years, Israel has murdered thousands of Palestinians. During those 16 years, Israel has murdered this girl's uncle. Her name is Ahed Tamimi. Ah Tamimi. Israel has also murdered this girl's cousin. Israel has shot this girl's other cousin, who just came out of his coma. Israel has shot this girl's mother. Israel has jailed this girl's father and mother, and now Israel has jailed the girl herself, Ah Tamimi, in jail, kidnapped from her own Palestinian home on Palestinian land by invading Israeli soldiers. And for 16 bloody years, this city council, right here in front of you, has blocked every effort to even have a public hearing on the resolution to boycott Israel. What can you say about a racist, violent state like Israel that murders with abandon so many thousands of Palestinians? And what can you say about a city council that seems bent on protecting Israel almost at all costs? Why? Why? And the only thing I can say is boycott Israel and goddamn Israel. Boycott Israel and goddamn Israel. I really don't know what else to say until this city council comes to its senses, holds a public hearing on the resolution to boycott Israel. Again, for those 16 years that the council has protected Israel, for those 16 years Israel has been protected by the city council while murdering so many Palestinians, I say boycott Israel and goddamn Israel. Boycott Israel and goddamn Israel. I really can't say it enough. And this girl is still in jail, in an Israeli jail that has no right to hold her. And I still say, until every Palestinian is free, 